With a relatively modest range, I felt a certain level of skepticism about the quality of Victrix products. The California-based company was founded in 2015 to create gaming hardware for eSports competitors. The Victrix Gambit fits the bill as their sole controller, designed for tournament-level play. Physically it resembles the Xbox Elite controller, complete with a share button. The dual-core processor inside uses one core for near-zero input latency, and the other handles Dolby Atmos audio. The Gambit is compatible with Windows PC, Xbox Series X, S, and Xbox One. Entering the third-party Xbox controller scene is tricky, with Corsair owning patents relating to wireless technology. Victrix pricing their controller cheaper than the Xbox Elite Series 2 seems attractive, but losing that wireless freedom is a caveat that requires consideration. The Gambit advertises itself as the world's fastest licensed Xbox controller. So if wireless isn't an option for Victrix, how does the Gambit compare to the best Xbox controllers in the game? Initially confused as to why anyone would need so many interchangeable components for a controller, trying out each piece gradually convinced me. Having never dipped into the waters of eSports gaming myself I didn't see the benefits right away. After spending a few days playing various games, I finally understood. The Victrix Gambit is customizable in many ways, including four thumbsticks and gates. The Gambit is compatible with Xbox and PC with the Victrix Control Hub software available on both platforms, so I spent most of my time using it with my PC. The software allows you to calibrate the Gambit, adjust dead zones, and set custom audio profiles if you choose to connect headphones directly to the controller. Not all PC games officially support controllers, often choosing to emulate keyboard input through the buttons and thumbsticks. Usually, this will work fine, but dead zones need a lot of adjustment to move the player in a straight line without wavering side to side. Using an octagonal thumbstick gate has a feeling much like my childhood Nintendo 64 did, restricting the analog movement to 8 sharp directions. I found this much easier to control my movement in first-person shooter games, leaving the right thumbstick on a rounded gate for precision aiming. The rear of the Gambit features interchangeable back paddles, a choice of two or four paddles assigned using the function button at the front of the controller. A point of contention for me, the paddles felt simultaneously handy and frustrating, something we will get to later. On the plus side, the paddles helped immensely with accessibility. My partner has a genetic condition that restricts her finger movement, so binding the two back paddles to LB and RB meant she could keep two fingers permanently on the triggers. Having four paddles attached would undoubtedly be an advantage for competitive play, keeping all fingers firmly in place while accessing critical inputs. The triggers might offer adjustable stop positions with the clutch button having five settings, but the springs are just too weak. Pulling each trigger feels like smooth plastic with barely any resistance, something a stronger spring could have fixed. For racing games, the triggers are too loose to control the pressure of your acceleration and braking. Better to stick to the shortest trigger stop if you plan to play shooters since the slightest pull counts as a shot. The Victrix Gambit is a refreshing change from the usual third-party bargain basement controllers, offering solid and comfortable construction. With its calibration software available on both Xbox and PC, setting up the Gambit exactly how you want it is super easy. Its potential for customization is gigantic, and the support for Dolby Atmos extends its usefulness to some of the best headsets available. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to buy these products check the description below I will include the product link. You must subscribe to the channel before watching the video. If you want to watch such videos, please like, share and comment.